this is not it's time we've wasted enough time here it is time to get after it scotty a smith coming in hot let's get it all right guys um jump aboard the load management train these are my two favorite words and by favorite i mean least favorite words like and I'm going to pinpoint one team, but I'm going to talk about the league in general. But the team I'm going to talk about, I hope is obvious if you follow the NBA. It's the LA Clippers. The LA Clippers are old balls. They have a ton of old balls on their team. And by that, I mean, they're just old, old players. Obviously, you got Kawhi, who's injured more often than not and out last year with an ACL. You got John Wall, who's been injured a ton. Paul George gets hurt a ton. Marcus Morris is 137 years old. I know because I'm a Kansas fan. And none of these guys, they, they've played four games, Chris. The, the, the Clippers have played four games. Kawhi has played two because, God forbid, he plays four. And by the way, he's looked bad. And he's only played 21 minutes per those two games. He's played 42 minutes in over four games this year. Like, what are we doing? He tore his ACL the season before last. Okay. Get him back in the lineup. Paul George has missed a game to load management. Marcus Morris, John Wall. Like, the Clippers' plan is just to, like, not play their players all season. That's their plan. Like, we'll just win enough games to make the 10 seed because that's all you have to do in the NBA anymore is be one of the top 10 teams in the NBA, and then you can just worry about playoffs. It's terrible for the game. I watched on ESPN NBA Live today, or whatever the show's called. Whatever the show on on ESPN, what the NBA show is called. I don't even remember what it's called. I watched it today. They literally spent a third of their show talking about this. And we're a week into the season. How does the NBA not see this is terrible for their league? You have fans that pay money to see these players when they come to their cities that only have one opportunity, maybe two if they're in the same conference, to see these guys. And the day of, they're just like, uh, actually, he's not hurt, but we're just not going to play him today. Like, like the Nuggets with MPJ... They, they, they're doing this like all of a sudden lumbar management. It sounds like he just tweaked it, actually. So I don't know if even that's legit. They're resting, in, you know, Jamal Murray, who got injured a year and a half ago with an ACL. Um, even Kendrick Perkins was on TV today, and he tore his ACL. And if you don't know Kendrick Perkins, he's a big man. He was over 300 pounds when he was in the league. Now he's probably over four. But he even said it was like, I came back after six months from an ACL tear and played every day. And I was 300 plus pounds. He said that. What is the NBA doing? Why are you trying to ruin your game? If you're healthy, damn it, play. Maybe, maybe, maybe you take off like, I don't know, in an 81 game, 82 game season, take off like five games for rest and stuff like that. But Taking off half the games if you're Kawhi or a quarter of the games on all these Clippers and all these players. Stop doing this, NBA. You're ruining the game. Someone prevent this from happening. If you can't stay healthy, you can't stay healthy. You saving them and only playing them a t- uh, once in a while isn't going to help. Isn't going to help cohesion. You're not going to win a championship. You're soft. You're whatever the Cardinals coach who got bothered by Twitter, soft. You're a soft team. You're a soft coaching staff. I don't like it. I don't love what it's doing for the game. The fact that they're talking about it on a third of the show on an NBA show this week in week one after one week is ridiculous. It's absurd. What are you doing? If you're healthy, you're paid millions and millions of dollars to fucking play a game. Get out, get off your ass, and play the game. I don't care if it ruins your results at the end of the season. I literally don't care because it hurts the game more. That's it. There you have it. I am on board with you 100%. Uh, so it, Kawhi Leonard is the poster child for, for Load Man. This started back when he was in, in San Antonio. San Antonio, they, he, they that's when you know Popovich started the whole, you know, just load management we're gonna sit him out we're gonna like save him for the playoffs the clippers right now are set to have seven players over the age of the, the age of 31 or older and they the 
they're trying to like protect their guys well don't have a roster of guys 31 or older that's 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 a you building your roster the wrong way kind of problem like if you want to have guys that are always injured and always getting older well guess what injuries come as you get older so figure it out uh there was another guy that that you know serious xm nba analyst uh, who took a shot at this as well he said quote this is a joke this is an absolute joke play him 30 minutes don't play him in back-to-backs all that kind of stuff pisses me off but bring him off the bench to manage his minutes when he's had 800 days off pisses me off 800 days like i mean it's Kawhi has played i saw a tweet like he's played literally almost half the games of his career like that's how much off time he has had and he's getting paid what is it 40 million dollars this year to play 40 games chris is he making a million dollars per game and he's only in the first two games that he's played by the way as i mentioned 21 minutes they play 48 chris he's not even playing half the games he's playing in (laughs) what are we doing what are we doing it's it's crazy the man. clippers i hope the clippers fail epically i don't actually have a vendetta against the clippers outside of them doing this ridiculous load management thing to the nth degree i hope it blows up in their face because the nba needs to see it blow up in their face it's just and it, it's a, it makes for a bad product if we take our like if we pay these premium games with these premium teams that i mean they're that you you pay more for those tickets you pay more to see the Lakers. You pay well, not anymore. Uh, you pay more to see the 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 Clippers, the Bucks, the you know the big time teams that have the big time players, the Brooklyn Nets. Those games are premiums. So when you have load management situations going on in those, we suffer as a fan base because we expected to go to that game and see all stars on both sides. So that that starts messing around with like a lot of the 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 fans money too so it's just i i i get it i get you're trying to save your guys but like when you have guys that have had load management i mean you've been gone for that long come on man come on figure that shit out because we're sick of it it's it's like what happened to the old school nba days where people play like we talk about this all the time soft players who, you know, back in the day, they played through anything. They could. They, and you, I know people are going to be like, oh, of course you mentioned Jordan. But can, can you imagine a coach or owner or anyone walking up with Jordan when he's completely healthy and being like, hey, we're going to rest you tonight? He would say, go fuck yourself. <laughs> yep. Uh, you're, you're you're not wrong on that. He he would. I mean, I mean, Larry Bird telling Larry Bird he can't and we play when he's sound healthy. old and we sound like a get off my lawn type person. And I don't care because I appreciate that athlete. That's like, no, I'm I'm gonna play. I'm healthy. Why would I not play? If you're not gonna play me, trade me then. Like. Not that they even ask for trades, because trade requests are a new thing in the NBA. When you're unhappy for 10 seconds, you're like, well, just trade me. I agree. So, Milwaukee's, I agree, but owners are protecting their investments. Like, dude, they got to... For sure. I I get it, but you got to, like... I mean, are you going to take your investments that are supposed to win you regular season games to get you better position in the playoffs and just sit them all year? Like, you got to win games. You got to... I mean, there's a lot that comes into it during the regular season, too, and it's like... Uh, it is a business. I get it, Milwaukee's, but yeah, it's like uh, Kawhi's stupid ass uncle always all involved in everything. True, MPJ has barely played a season of games. Well, yeah, he's but he's the greatest. He's the greatest. He's the greatest <laughs> Cuban. NBA needs to do players and fans a favor and just eliminate back to back games. Get rid of the excuses. I don't think they can fit that in the schedule though, with the time frame. Um, although there's not much, but of a I'd difference, be I'd be down for that. Although there's not much of a difference in the Broncos when their big payday player is out. Yeah, but their big payday player is trash. He's not playing well. And no, no integrity. It's about the money, says Diacola. Yeah. Uh, all the guys from that era would say that Popeye Jones played through a broken eyeball. I feel like if I remember Popeye Jones 
and I feel like I do. He had the biggest eyes I've ever seen. Yep. Those eyeballs were. There's no reason it was broken. Didn't he have big ears? Too? I mean, no, huge ears and huge eyes. That's why huge I ears and huge eyes. And I mean, Popeye Jones probably couldn't afford to take a day off, or he was out of the league. Um, <laughs> That's why I don't like the NBA. Finding a likable star is like the Lions. Uh, having a winning season well, shots fired shots fired uh likable star for se se second joker? joker i was gonna say second of all joker? the most likable stars are like Giannis and joker Giannis is great too like, absolutely you got some nice likable stars out there out there I, reckoning i mean i think there's there's definitely guys that are likable some of the old old hats aren't as likable as the as the younger dudes um yeah, uh, let's see what else. Have you seen the new? Star I mean, Luke. Or... Luca's Luca's likable. I think. I think. I mean, it's hard to not like Luca. Luca's going a different direction a little bit with his like. You think so? I think a little bit, but I mean, he's still huh? as of right now, he's still likable. But he's starting to get that little attitude, you know, with you know calls and different things. But I mean, Joker has issues with referees and things too. But I think. Uh, Luca has a little bit of uh he's got a little bit of an ego growing in there in Dallas, but I mean he's still he's still fine. He's not anywhere close to some of the other 